We actually had to get out because this portion right here you cannot pass. Man, it's tough. Do it. Man. But first, you gotta take the water out of the canoe. You have to come here. Yeah. Oh, Look at that, look how low the boat is. He actually had to remove water from the boat. But he's paddling, he's paddling slowly. She'll cut it right there. Someone came with fish in the meantime. Man, check this out. How steep, how straight the palm is. Boom, this is how it is from the ocean overlooking the village of Bure, the beach of Bure. Good morning everyone from TY Island. Started to walk through the jungle here on the island to observe the animals is really really early in the morning seven o'clock but that's the time when animals wake up so uh, yeah I'm gonna speak a little bit uh, lower just because you know we don't want to disturb the animals if we see them they'll run away and so on but they have a lot of monkeys here a lot of birds and so on let's see if we will be lucky the guys went ahead but I did the introduction behind just so I can uh, you know speak a little bit uh, louder into the camera like you have seen previously a whole bunch of bamboos on this island guys check out the roots of this tree incredible yeah, there are some monkeys here, but they're too far away for me to show you too. Look at this. Although they're far away, you can get an idea. These trees are everywhere, guys. Man, unbelievable. How wide. These trees actually can be found all throughout the island, guys. And the locals told us that they use them for medicinal purposes in order to treat stomach aches. Man, look at these. These two pretty much formed uh, a couple. Incredible. And another interesting tree right here, full of spikes. Not sure if it has a purpose or not, but uh, man, it looks so incredible. Look at that. Check out these bamboos. They look like they have uh, skirts. Yeah, another humongous pile of bamboos on the island of Tiwai. And a little bit of uh, the African cuisine here in Sierra Leone, cassava leaf with beans and rice. Let's see how it tastes. A little bit spicy, but not bad at all. Has some meat in it as well. 
right here a little bit of chicken the beans yeah it looks like uh, spinach a little bit of chicken yeah it looks like spinach pretty much like spinach some french fries and eggs would have been good let me show you guys a little bit the bathroom situation as well this is the shower just so you know what to expect if you do come to ty don't expect any luxury like i said back in the day people stayed in tents now they have uh, this refuge let's call it that way and here you have the toilet so yeah it's not for everyone guys it's not for everyone but it's one of those places where it will make you appreciate things you know you do have the doors all of them with the mosquito nets they're not the greatest some of them have holes but yeah this is the living conditions way better than a tent in my opinion you can take a shower the outdoors super well kept here i can actually put it on wide there's more uh, there's more sunlight then we do have electricity though but a lot of these flowers I guess stuck in trees with the with the spider nets and everything they make these uh, humongous uh, not sure what what to call them you know cloud trees let's put them that way but I'm gonna go and rest for a little bit before we have the festivities and uh, we're gonna go on the canoe so I'm not sure if I mentioned previously but the TY uh, island is supported by the community surrounding the island and every community has certain traditions and so on and today i've talked to some of them in order to organize some cultural uh, dances festivities that they have here they are they're coming from the village where they dropped us when we first originally came to ty and they're going to perform right here at one of the harbors let's call it that way Here they are guys, with the drums and everything. So guys, this is the mask of one of the communities and I wanted to capture it with the bamboos, with the beautiful bamboos of TY.
from what I was told, this mass comes out only once a year for the villagers to do a celebration, you know, to to bring good health, good crop, you know, for the people that uh, go into manhood to have prosperity and, and so on. And they do it for, uh, you know, for tourists as well when uh, they come to TY. Again, there are, I think, 11 communities that support the TY uh, Foundation, the, the island here. So this is one of them. And saying farewell to the spirit of the community. So I guess that's not the end. That's just uh, the first part. He's definitely taking a rest. I'm sweating. Most likely he's sweating uh, worse, you know, being underneath that clothing, underneath those uh, uh, dry leaves. Yeah, part two on the way. Here he is. He's back. <laughs> try to fly the drone a little bit so I can see how it looks from above again guys as spectacular as things may seem on camera a lot of times it's tough you know it's tough after three weeks to uh, always film you know always photograph you know always record document and archive things you know so yeah, do my best, you know, there are moments that uh, you will never relive them, you know, they come once and that's it. Even though you may come at the same spot, it will never be the same, you know, what happens once, it will remain, even though you can visit, even with the same people, a lot of times, you can visit a place with the same people, things will never be as they once were you know so yeah trying to archive here and there even though i'm not going to make a full episode at times you know i'll just put a few clips here and there on instagram if i don't feel like recording a lot but uh yeah they're just uh, a few of the things we were talking earlier while we were sipping on coffee drinking tea and so on so yeah that's one of the things uh you know i rarely do motivation or you know reflect on things on this channel but uh, there are times where you kind of have to do that where you remind yourself of certain things and uh, even though it may not mean anything to anyone it's just uh, it's just good you know to hear it from time to time if it uh, helps one person or two persons two people it's good enough but yeah we were just talking about uh, you know certain destinations uh, how fortunate we are to to visit to live to experience certain moments you know and uh, a lot of times it's not about the destination guys when I was young I always focused on the destination you know and then with time things kind of change and you focus, uh, you know, you realize, you know, it's about the journey as well. And then the third step you realize it's about the company, you know, a lot of times it's about the company who, who you're sharing certain moments with, certain journeys with, certain destinations with, you know, and then you realize, you know, I think the next step after all these three it's about all three combined, right? It's about uh, living in the moment with the people, enjoying the journey, 
while reaching the destination. So it's tough. It's tough to to you know we're talking about reflection, uh, reflecting on things that have happened. You know, I mean, I'm uh, I'm traveling a lot of times with people that are way way smarter than me, have more life experiences, have met you know certain people throughout their life that it's very hard to quantify you know uh, those experiences those uh, discussions and the things that they have achieved you know i'm just 34 i don't have those life experiences and uh, i'm trying to absorb as much as possible the good and the bad you know i mean where there's shade there's always going to be light where there's light there's always going to be shade right so yeah again just a little parenthesis here on this ty episode just walking the jungle again we're just gonna go and goof around for a little bit it's not about uh it's not about destination it's not about the <laughs> so that small break i had a spider on my hand yeah, uh, not many mosquitoes here, as I thought, at night, barely any, freaking hot though, freaking, freaking hot, but uh, a lot of other bugs, you know, everyone got bit by something, but not mosquito, which is a good thing, so, but yeah, guys, it's just uh, a little parenthesis, maybe it helps some of you realize a few things, if not, you know, just skip this part. But if you have made it all the way here, just reflect that, reflect a little bit on it. You know, there are a lot of things. There are a lot of things to, to think about. And uh, as time goes by, things will change. You'll realize more things uh, are not the same as you thought 20 years ago, right? 20 years ago, 15 years ago, let's say, when I finished college. It was always about destination, always about reaching a certain point. But every time you reach a certain point, you realize there's another point to be achieved and so on and so on and so on. And like in traveling, same thing. You reach a city, you reach a, a mountain peak, you reach whatever you desire. There's always going to be something else. One of the one of the girls from our group, you know, uh, she made this comparison, you know, because we left the car, you know, there was that Paris the car rally, you know. So she kind of did a little play on those uh, on those uh, words on the theme, and she called this journey post the car. What's after the car, right? So the car, Monrovia in Liberia, but it's gonna be after Liberia. You know, there's always gonna be something after Liberia. So it's not about the destination. It's not about the journey. It's about it's about the company while enjoying the destination, while enjoying the journey to the destination. So, yeah. Anyways, let's uh, let's see if I can fly the drone a little bit. Let's see if I have any battery left. And I'm at uh, a crossroad, and I'm not sure exactly where the guys went, left or right, but let me yell at them. Let me hold you down like gravity to the ground, oh. Be my, be my baby. I ain't gonna be shady. I ain't messing around. Let's fall in love. I won't let us fade away. Okay guys, so now we're heading to try to see some pygmy hippos, one of the smallest hippos that they have here in Africa. We're gonna go and get the canoes and then uh, probably an hour, an hour and a half or so, if we're lucky, we're gonna cruise along the Moa River to try to find the pygmy hippos. Right 
Reminds me a little bit of the Sago Palms in the Gulf Province in Papua New Guinea. The canoes have arrived. But first, you gotta take the water out of the canoe. You have to come here. Yeah. You have big body. And made it on the canoes. Still with a whole bunch of water here, but very, very tight. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> Not sure exactly where we're going and why we're taking this route. Probably because the water is a little more shallow here. I'll hold you so tight to be snogged. She might be my baby. Let me love you crazy. Let me hold you down. Whoa, finally. Shalato. Shalato. Whoa. I will love Okay. Whoa. Whoa. There are some monkeys here on these palms. Let's see if we can catch them right there. Yeah, they ran away. Hello, how are you? They're making a, a fish trap. They're gonna put the uh, gate right there and then, uh, you know, when they see multiple fish, they're gonna close the gate. No, turn around. Not sure where we're going right now, but uh, let's hope for the best. Let's see how we're gonna pass through this. Yeah, back then, when uh, there were the rapids, the boat hit a couple of rocks. Even though we might not see hippos, the ride itself is quite uh, exhilarating. Looks like there's another dead end. We'll see if that's the case. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's a small, small little path right there. Water is really, really shallow here, and there's so many rocks. The boatman had to get off and actually pull us so we won't hit the rocks. Man. Whoop. Yep, the same situation. Uh. Yep, not sure exactly what we're doing, but we got stuck again. Uh, this boat ride, man, this boat ride. We actually had to get out because this portion right here you cannot pass. Man, it's tough. Do it. Man, seeing uh, the pygmy hippos, it's uh, quite challenging and it's getting dark. So, I mean, yeah, the chances are less than 1% at this point.
I won't let us fade away, even when we old and gray. Know that I'll be here to stay and give you that breath. Another portion here where we have to walk because, uh, you know, the water level is too low and way, way too many rocks. So it is what it is. It's sunset time. So yeah, unfortunately, no pygmy hippos, but you know, it was a spectacular ride if I can put it that way. We got a little friend in the boat. He fell from uh, the branches. Da, 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 da. Ooh, very shallow here as well. And guys, putting an end to the episode the following day, we made it back to the village, to the vehicle. Again, another super, super hot night on TY Island. So I'm gonna finish this episode, it's been long enough. And I'm gonna jump into the next one, heading over to Liberia. So if you wanna see more, stay tuned. If you wanna see more of what our journey consisted of coming here, go to the previous episodes. But gratitude should be the only attitude. Stay humble and I'll see you next time. Peace out, guys. Let me take you back to a time when Love was as precious as diamonds Where if you search you would find it